The bass and the drums are very important. Uh, it's very important that they're together at all times and uh, not so much that they have to be playing the same exact duration of the note, but what they have to be doing is concentrating to achieve the same balance between the lowest instrument in the band and the highest instrument in the band, in the band which is the cymbal. So basically, what I'm going to do is just play some quarter notes to show you the difference in, in how time feels. If I play short quarter notes, um, basically the time doesn't change, but I'm going to explain to you how the swing feel uh, relates to time. So here's a simple uh, fundamental concept of time. One, two, three, uh. So that's time, that's time. Uh, even back before the ride pattern was taken over to the cymbal, they would play everything on the hi-hat. A lot of things would have more of a jumping feel. It would have more of a, a dance feel to it, like play something on blues again. One, two, a one, two. Uh. So yeah, so anyway, take that concept of time, we're going to play one chorus of blues, which gives you straight time, and then I'm going to take it and take it over to the ride cymbal, and I want you to notice how the bass player elongates his notes, and the cymbal match the highest instrument of the band, which is the cymbal, and the lowest instrument of the band, which is the bass. When we start to play the cymbal and the bass together, I want you to notice the feeling that it creates, and this is the basic the root concept of where swing is, what it is, and how it feels. One course of blues and then, you know. There it is. That's the basic, like a uh, fundamental way to hook up just a, a, a nice swing groove between the bass player and the drummer. You got your quarter notes, and then you got your quarter note where it elongates the, the bass note and the cymbal. The elongation of the cymbal, the elongation of the bass creates the swing feel.